So I thought I would do let's tidy my airing cupboard with me. Um, as you can see a lot of the stuff has just been thrown in. These are actually meant to be going on eBay so I might pull them out. Um, I've got a few like boxes that I'm going to see if they would fit in there and put some of the stuff in boxes. But as you can see it's quite, quite bad. It's usually it is tidy but when my son went away <laughs> or used some stuff he just shoved it all in there. So I thought this would be a good little little video so let's begin see I'm going to pull everything out because like you just need to pull everything out don't you so I'm going to pull everything out of the thing and I've put it on the floor or on my bed um, there's my hair dryer which I'm going to need in a minute guys because I've just done my hair I have pulled everything out of my cupboard and here it is you wouldn't think a little cupboard would hold this much stuff in there would you so I'm going to see if I've got like a box that would fit in there because I think some of these items should go in a box and then I'll just make it a little bit better for storing. And like I said I've got some blankets there that are meant to be for eBay. I've just found some more blankets over there which I'm going to give them to the ferrets. Like cut them up, make blankets out of them for them because we don't use them. They're just sitting in my cupboard. I've got loads of blankets everywhere. I have special blankets that I keep for and downstairs anyway which was Dave's mum and dad's blankets and I, I ain't got a heart you know they they mean a lot to me even my blanket that I made there look and there's even my son's baby blankets which are in that bag there so yeah I'm gonna go and get a box guys I grabbed the box it's the only one that will fit in the gap so I can always get another I've got another one of these so I could always like oof it up and put another one up um, but I think I might be able to just use this one sorry about the wet hair I've just had a bath and I really can't be bothered to blow dry it just yet I want to get this job done um, the last couple of days I've been decluttering tidying out my cupboards because um, the boys have gone away fishing for the night they went yesterday so yesterday I did the downstairs area out so I decluttered Dave's um, computer area because it was so messy and he was getting a bit fed up of it bless his heart nothing's been thrown away um i've just reorganized it for him made it a little bit better i also did my um, another cupboard which was my uh, mother-in-law's that was really messy they had lots of bits and pieces i've put it all in boxes much better to get the stuff out um i did all the hoovering the dusting ups and downstairs i did my own cupboard the amount of times i always redo my wardrobe I must do it at least once a month. I'm always decluttering it, but I've done it even better. Um, Edie, she had all her toys thrown away. She only seems to like certain toys. I don't know if other people's dogs are like that, but she only likes the chew, the chew rings and the chew bones. So I thought, because she doesn't use the other toys, I'll get rid of her dog toy bin. So she, she hasn't got that anymore. So I've thrown that out away. I did the washing. I've been really busy the last two days and I absolutely ache. But I needed to do it. I'm getting to the stage now. I need to get my life forward. So I thought this would be quite good to do a declutter of my airing cupboard because like most people you get a cupboard and it just gets things just get thrown in and etc. So I thought why not do this video with you I'm not going to do like the fast forwarding thing because I don't know how to do this on my phone but I'll just show you step by step of what I've been doing and just show you so this one is like I said this has been vacuumed I don't know how to get it out though I can't even remember how I did it to be honest I think it's got like a seal on it let me just get it open got it so I'm just starting to pull it out look these were my boys baby blankets i just cannot throw these away this is what dave's mum and dad brought him when he was a little baba and yeah i know i've still got them i've still got some of his baby clothes up in the loft actually that would be one big decluttering situation that i'll have to do so that thing they're, they're staying i've got oh look oh i forgot about this this is our little bulldog pillowcase I might put that back downstairs actually. This is Edie. This is Edie. So that can go downstairs. I am not throwing that way. Then I've got some big old pillowcases. 
they can actually be made as hammocks for the ferrets so I'm not going to throw them away or they're quite good quality I'll have to find out who they are might be able to sell them you never know uh, what else have we got here it's amazing what junk you keep I mean half this stuff I really don't know why I keep it's just one of them things ah oh, this is another one of my sons this is one of his hats he absolutely loved wearing I don't know why I'm keeping half this stuff that's going to go I'm going to be ruthless I think this might be Dave's dad's hat I'm not sure but I know I can't throw it away because he'll kill me if I throw it that way there's my bag for my sleeping bag that my son borrows and look what I found the boys at one of these things for fishing Ah, oh, see I do find stuff that these boys don't know about it's a good job really I think a real good job I've got tons of pillowcases which I really do not need so I don't know why I've kept them so again they could be bedding for ferrets you see half this stuff I don't need to keep I don't know why I'm keeping it to be honest towels ferrets more pillowcases you see the ferrets will have all this kind of stuff. oh no look, what's that hello is it me you're looking for <laughs> I don't know Oh god, I've had that for ages. See, this is all junk that's been kept in this bloody bag. Oh, ah, my winter scarves. My cute winter scarf that has a star on. Oh, that can stay out. That can go in my collection. What else is it? Another winter scarf. No, it ain't. It's a shawl. Is that what you call it? A shawl? It's one of them. I really don't want that, so that can go. I don't know why I kept stuff. So that's what I, I'm going to do the rest now, so I don't bore you with everything, so yeah. Okay, I finished the cupboard, I'm going to turn you around and show you. Um, the thing that took the longest to actually do was trying to get this blooming sleeping bag in this bag, which originally came with it. I don't know, my son's going to have trouble when he takes it to the festival next year because he ain't going to get that back in there. He'll probably have to bring it loose back to his old mum. But anyway, so as you can see, it looks nice and tidy. And I shall turn you around to show you. Ta-da! Took me about 20 minutes, I would say. Um, I've got one massive bag for the ferrets and one little bag for textiles when we go to the skip tomorrow. So I'm going to start on the bottom. So we've got the towels. I love the like just have them folded in a specific way and then they fit nicely in there then my tablecloths um this one by the way is actually made out of an old duvet i absolutely love the pattern i love anything like this um and this one i've got on the car boot sale which you probably saw in one of my car boot sale hauls i have not got the heart to actually sell it <laughs> i love it it's vintage it's gorgeous so i've kept it it will probably be used on something i'm sure at the back there, it's very dark in there, so I do apologise. Is old tea um, towels for the animals. We have um, dog towels there, blah de blah. Also, my towel that I use for dyeing my hair because I dye my own hair. And then this is my son's um, wash bag for when he goes to festivals or when he goes away with friends. Here is usually my duvet cover sets, but they're all in the wash at the moment, so that will be full. But this is this is a single one that we sometimes, if Joe has a mate round um that will go on a pillowcase and then joe's got the duvet in his room at the moment because it's so cold apparently um hair dryer very important piece in this household for me and joe anyway um but i haven't dried my hair at the moment it's actually dried naturally so i don't need it today but yeah that's that has to be in here that's a big start and then of course men don't look it's the women's stuff sanitary towels etc just thought i'd put them in this basket which i already had keep it all in one place i'm absolutely over the moon because i found some that i thought i didn't have anymore so that was awesome up here da, 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 da. at the back is the box if i take the toilet rolls you can see the box has joe's old baby blankets um i found beach shoes for us when we go to the beach beach mats etc so that's all in the box. Up the top is pillowcase, pillows, pillows, um, for like, uh, Joe takes usually one of them or something to when he goes away or 
if it's friends days round, blah de blah. Toilet roll. I like to make sure I'm always stacked on the toilet roll in this household. Um, this bloody thing is what took me so long. And you can see, I couldn't get it right in. I do not want, know what's happened to it. So, <laughs> when my son takes it next year, it ain't going to come back like that because he's not going to have... He won't be able to put it in. So I'll have to tell him just to bring it back home because he's going to a festival next year. So I can honestly say that will not come back home in that state. Um, Dave's shaving stuff because um, I do his hair for him. In here, this bag has a travel hair dryer and another hair dryer in case that one packs up. Um, and toothbrushes. I always have spare toothbrushes. Um, again, if Joe goes away or something, he can take a toothbrush and then he can throw it away. Also, little mini toothpastes in there. So, yeah, I'm quite an organised lady, as you can hear. Also, like a travel, travel toiletry set as well, like putting your toothbrush, your soaps, etc. And then, don't ask me why a ton of soap. I can't use this soap, but Dave uses it. Um, but I like to have my nose soap, so I will keep it there, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it, keep it. But I didn't have the heart to throw it away just yet. I might donate it, actually. That might be a good idea, I might donate that. So, yeah, that is the top and the bottom of the airing cupboard. Like I said, I've been decluttering a lot of the rooms in the house the last couple of days, especially because the boys went away fishing yesterday. So I've done quite a lot. I'm aching all over. Like, literally, I'm aching all over. But I'm really pleased with, with my results. Um, so, yeah. That is it. I hope you like my video. Um, it's a bit different as well. So, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. And thank you all for the kind comments that you always do. And follow me on Instagram. So, if you like this kind of video, perhaps comment down below. And perhaps I'll do a few more decluttering ones for you. But anyway, I'm going to go now. See you later. Bye.